We're live! <laughs> Alright, so again, not all that many people forwarded for the last stream by the looks of it, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, my torch burned out. Uh, it's dark in here. I need an adult. There's a wolf at my front step again. Are you joking? Get out of here. No solicitors! No solicitors! Oh, he's dead. Good grief. These wolves today, I don't I don't know what's up with them. They're just like They're all like coming to my house trying to sell me things. You had to manually go to the stream? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes the, the auto forwarding doesn't work. Um it's been pretty good, but Actually, Cryptic Fox, you said you'd play Getting Over It when we pass $100,000. That's it. That's the ticket. That's right. When we cross $100,000, I said we'd play it. That's what I did say. Just now. <laughs> 12 more hours? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Let's do, uh, we're gonna do 13th hour of charity livestream. <laughs> there we go. 13th hour. <laughs> Didn't quite work, but you're here. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, sorry. It doesn't always work consistently. It might have been too close. The timing might have been too close to when I ended the other stream. But that's okay. Uh, I need to make a new torch because my other one burned out. Because I'm, I'm... I never remember to turn them off. Uh, I need sulfur. Uh, what else do I need? Sulfur sticks and fiber. I got that. If you do another 12 hours, you'd be on your own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no way. No way I'm lasting another 12. <laughs> I'm already tired. That deer just took the tree. To, uh, well, it was already on the ground. It just walked through it, so it kind of it made it look a little bit like it, but it, it was already laying on the ground. The, the storm knocked a bunch of trees down here. You can see where they all fell. <laughs> Poor deer is like, let me out of here. <laughs> Yeah, well. Hey, you just got a notification. Well, welcome to the 13th hour of our 12-hour charity stream. Oh, yeah, I made a mistake. So, 13th hour of 12-hour charity stream. There we go. Name it that. <laughs> we passed another 12 hours. Fox would be hallucinating. Ashley is a spider bear. Yes, yes, I would. That seems... That seems... That seems highly plausible. Okay, we have our pickaxe. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I've got food. Oh, I want... Eh, you know what? The, the wood will last for now. It's fine. It's fine. I do need to get some wood to feed our furnace with. And I should probably also leave the sticks and the sulfur behind because I don't need to bring those. Meat. Okay. We'll chop down a tree when we get over there, but um, there's a cave that should be on the edge of this thing here. That will give us what we need. Well, actually, there's trees already falling down here. Sure, Mrs. Vox would, uh, would have something to say if he went another... Yes, I'm sure she would, and I'm sure not much of it would be polite. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean you're going to leave me for another 12 hours handling the... Actually, the 12 hours would be overnight, so it'd be like noon tomorrow. And she'd be like, that's it. The kids are yours. I don't care if you're tired. I've been handling them for 24 hours. They're all yours. <laughs> Still going strong. 13th hour of our 12 hour stream. And $8,100 we've raised. $8,100 in support of Covenant House. I am gobsmacked. The stream would look big. SpongeBob Krusty Krab opens 24 hours. Yeah. SpongeBob. What the? Did you see that tree just fall down? I wonder if it was already broken and just balancing there. That's weird. Never seen that happen before. Move the goalpost to 10k. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like I'm kind of baiting everybody here. Like I already moved it up from 5,000 to 7,500, and I was. I was honestly not certain we would get there. I just wanted to leave a gap so that it would show it. I just bumped it up to 10k, but I mean, the likelihood we're going to get there in the next uh, the next hour is pretty pretty unlikely, but like amazing how much support you guys have given today. That's 
Can't get over it. Cosmo in particular has given just an insane amount of money. I, it's got to be more than a thousand dollars. Well, I get to catch a live stream. Seems I'm always at work when you're live. Well, welcome, Patrick. That's funny because I'm. Well, I guess it depends on where you are in the world. Um, yeah, but I'm usually. It's, for me, it's 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 always late at night when I'm live, like nine o'clock, nine o'clock and later. Not from the odd time I get to start at like eight or whatever. And that is what I said about seventy five hundred. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? I'm t uh, the the weird thing. I'm I'm terrible about asking for money because I I always feel guilty about asking for money. But this money isn't for me, and so. I'm good with asking anyway, because it's it's for a great cause, and it's not for me. But, I mean, you guys have given so much between today and the last stream. I don't want to feel like I'm, uh... <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm being greedy either. I don't know how to... I, I don't know. It feels weird. My heart is filled with enormous gratitude, though. Hey, Still Snow! Welcome! You don't have PayPal. That's okay. I appreciate it. I know some people don't have PayPal. I think they, they do accept credit cards and debit cards through PayPal without having a PayPal account, but I totally understand. I want to start streaming, but I can't stick to a schedule or a game for long enough. That's why I watch you. Uh, <laughs> if you've noticed, I'm not really good at sticking to a game either. <laughs> Uh, I'm what they would call a variety streamer because I play a variety of games. I don't just pick one game and then stick with it. Um, I have been doing a lot of survival games lately, but uh, I do like to jump around and play all kinds of different things. There is something to be said for picking like one game and playing it because you develop a deep audience in one one specific game, but then your entire channel is tied to it. And most of the people that I know that played a single game ultimately got really tired of playing the same thing all the time, uh, and so they, uh, kind of burns them out. There's, there's pros and cons to both. The, the nice thing with variety is you, you get exposed to people that might not have seen your channel otherwise, and you get the ability to play a variety of different things. So it doesn't feel as monotonous. The downside is that, um, you don't develop a deep audience for one particular game, and so your audience can tend to like bounce around a lot, depending on what they like watching versus not watching. Uh, deploy. Shoot, Cole's in the way. Hang it, Cole! Get out of the way! What well, popped out of that worm? Never seen that happen before. So one of the new updates that they, they put out, um, not this time, but the one time before, when you kill the worms, they now drop things. So you've got a poison sack and a worm scale. I'm actually doing the mission right now that unlocks the equipment that we can craft with the worm scale. Uh, once we finish this mission, we get the reward, and then we also get that access to uh, access to those new craftables. But I, you can't, I can't do anything with them yet, so they're basically just wasted materials at the moment. Oh, uh, all right, put that in there. Get a bunch of iron going here. Oh. Probably should have brought a mortar and pestle. We could have just made steel bloom here, actually. Oh, well. No biggie. <laughs> You find yourself gamed out, uh, your time off from streaming? Yeah, I often, well, yeah, there's like two different type, two different effects. Um, I mean, I only tend to stream normally like three hours a night. Um, which is a fair amount of time, but it's not like, it's not like people who are streaming eight to ten hours a day kind of thing when they do it as like a full-time career. Um, so in that regard, I'm not entirely burnt out, but what I tend to get is, um, yeah, I get a dry throat, but I'll also find that it's hard to enjoy a game when I'm not doing it for YouTube anymore. Because every time I go to play something that I'm not putting on YouTube, I'm like, man, what? I should really be doing this for YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's it, But then I only got so much time to do YouTube, and so it does get to be a challenge that way. Or I always feel like I'm... I'm doing something I shouldn't be, <laughs> you know. So usually, if I'm playing a game that's not on, 
not on stream. It'll be something like Apex Legends or something where I'm just unwinding with some games. Um, and then I don't feel bad about not putting it on YouTube, but... Let, you watch streams, let your head rev down? Yeah, I watch, uh, I consume a lot of YouTube content. Both because I work at home and I can just have it on. And then also, um... Also because I can, like, I'll watch it on my phone or whatever. <laughs> Still Snow with the super chat. Isn't work for me, so I'll donate to you instead. Well, thank you, Still Snow. I have no idea what that converts to in Canadian dollars. Um, hold on. Directivity. I think that's like 1250 Canadian. So I'm going to I'm going to pass that along to on. blah blah blah. There we go. We'll pass that along here. Well, 50. This is still uh, from Still Snow. Take my PayPal window over here. Oh, wait, wrong one. Uh, that one? <laughs> Nobody needs to see my account. That's fine. There we go. Donation made. Oh no, I forgot to. Oh, I think I forgot to click the button for the uh, the processing fee. Shoot. Oh well. We got most of it right anyway. So thanks, uh, thanks, Still Snow. We appreciate that. Arigato gozaimasu. Got to scroll down now. Sorry, lost the chat. Perfect. I don't want to do that for everybody because that's going to cost me a lot of money. <laughs> but um, if you, uh, I do appreciate the donation though, so I wanted to relay that along. I know you've been uh, you've been a supporter of the channel for such a long period of time. Hey Guillermo Vargas, how you doing? Oh, I should um, I should sorry, I gotta pin the pin the comment in the chat again. There we go. I'm gonna pin that. Perfect. Okay. More copper. Needs more copper. <laughs> you can't hit it. <laughs> My aim's all messed up. There's very little iron in this cave, and I came over here for iron. Um. Well, I got some, but at least I guess we'll take the copper because we're gonna need it anyway. That was supposed to be 1247 Canadian? What was? I missed something. What did I put it in as? <laughs> Didn't I put it in as 1250? Hold on, did I make a mistake? I might have. Mark that way. Nations. Oh, yeah, I went through okay. It was 1250. It's good. Good. Worked alright. No, it was twelve fifty. Oh my god, it was three cents off. <laughs> so it's the nation of twelve hundred and twenty yen. Yep. Yeah. Well, twelve forty seven, twelve fifty in Canada. We don't use pennies anymore, so twelve fifty just rounded it out. Light sixty nine with another super chat to help you with helping other donations. <laughs> Well, thank you, Night69. I appreciate the uh, appreciate all this, the generous super chats today. That's insane. Oh, you guys warm the the subcockle regions of my heart. I don't know what regions those are exactly, but I've heard the term, and so therefore I'm using it. <laughs> now that converts the other way, yeah, which is nice. <laughs> All this currency convert exchange conversions. I think I got more platinum. I don't even know that I need it. They were saying I overdonated lol, but it doesn't matter. I only overdonated by three cents. Like twelve dollars and forty-seven cents versus twelve fifty is uh, it's it's effectively the same thing. It's fine. Whatever. 
<laughs> that three cents is really not going to break my bank. If it does, I have very different problems. <laughs> Copper, copper, copper. Gold. Oh, that's why I've got all the stone on me. I was like, man, why am I so heavy? I'd explain it. All the stone. You can super chat me three yen. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> I'm sure the processing fee on that is worse than <laughs> worse than the three yen. Don't worry about it. It's good. Believe your donation went through. Hold on, hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, where are we? Yeah, we're at eight thousand. Where are we? Eight thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars. We're at so far. Amazing. Wow. Oh wow. I learned the term sub cockles from Dennis. That might be where I heard it from. <laughs> that warms the. Uh, what is it? It warms the, uh... I can't remember the phrase now that it goes. It warms the cockles of my heart. Possibly even the sub-cockles. <laughs> it's something like that. I can't remember. I, I'm not doing it justice. It might have been from Dennis Leary, though. That, that, seemed, that sounds like something that I would have, uh... Wait a minute. Why am I not getting a buff from that one food? Oh, I, oh, wait a minute. I can only get one buff from one of these two at the same time. That sucks. Ah. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I should carry some other type of food on me. I wasn't thinking. Look up in the cave. Is there... Oh, there is some in there. Um... I'm gonna have to go grab some resources outside. I need to build like a little ramp or something to get up there. Stuck in the door? You were wrong, but I've heard that the uh that plenty and I think it's a British saying, but uh Dennis Lear did use the line in a song. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea of the origin, so that very well could be the origin of it. Uh and then I just heard Dennis Leary say it potentially, or I might have heard it other places. Beats me. Either way. What's this about maple flavored coffee? I want some. There's a really so. There's this brand uh, brand of coffee in uh, in Ontario called Muskoka Coffee, and they make this Muskoka maple. That's maple flavored coffee. It is so good. Maple coffee. Oh, oh, oh. oh need more wood. Thought I had enough. Yeah, <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> All the cooked special meats provide the same buff, which is why you should dry some special meats. Oh, wait. Oh, it is the same buff. You're right. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it would help preserve it longer, but I could I could use other foods that would probably give me a better buff than some of the dried ones. If I remember when we tried the meat drying rack, I wasn't really thrilled with the buff that it gave. I thought it was like a subpar buff. I could have been using like creamed corn or something and gotten better. Maybe I'm wrong. I my memory does suck. So, Crypto Fox, the only YouTube channel I'm a member of. Are you? Am I really? God. Thanks, Still Snow. That is awesome. I have a I have a Japanese question for you because um, I've been trying to figure it out. So I know there's uh, there's arigato gozaimasu and then arigato gozaimashita, and that's supposed to be like a past tense thank you. Is this a context where I would use the past tense of thank you because of saying thank you for all the things you've already done? I also don't know if I pronounced it right, but. Uh, I need one of these ramps so I can get this iron up here. Oh. Oh, there we go. Mmm, cream corn went in. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I can't. I, in real life, I would never touch cream corn. You'd never, you would never get me to eat it. 
It's, it's like, like a bowl of weird snot. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but this game is quite good. Uh, Arigato gozaimashita would be good, would be more correct here. Okay, I thought so. Thank you. Oh my god, I learned something. See that? My brain does work sometimes. Cockles and mussels are seafood and also sang about in other British things that I believe also mentioned in the Mary Poppins movie. Although, uh, Gazaimas is also okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand because there's a lot of, like, context that's very, very different in Japanese from, uh, English. I learned something too. And I learned something today. Cockles and mussels alive. But wait, so if we if I know that I know that those are seafood types of things, but if we're talking about the subcockle region of your heart, how does that apply? I'm confused now. I I equals much confused. Informs useful ingredient for making Mexican cornbread. The honorific Japanese is very confusing for Japanese as well. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so it's so it's not just confusing for me. Perfect. Excellent. My daughter really wants to go to Japan. Like every time we talk about taking a family vacation now, she brings up Japan. But I think it's just because she likes she likes uh, like anime and. These cute characters and all that kind of stuff. I was like, honey, you realize that Japan isn't just that, right? Like, it's a city of actual people. <laughs> or not even a city, but it's a country full of cities of actual people. She's like, I know. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, I really hope you like seafood. Because <laughs> the, uh, as I understand, like, North American food in Japan is very expensive. Japan is so worth it. I, I really want to go. If you ever come to Osaka, I will show you around anytime. Oh, that'd be amazing. I've, you know, uh, I have a, uh, I have a weird interest in Japan, predominantly from when I was a teenager reading the book Shogun. And that got me interested in, like, the history. Even though the, the story itself is fictional, it got me interested in the real history. And so I, I, in, in, uh, in university, I took like an Asian history course and uh Yeah, I don't know. It was just it's very interesting to me. It's got such a deep history compared to what we have in Canada, because I mean Canadian history is like 150 years. <laughs> it's not really not really that extensive, you know. New dono? Oh, was it another new donation? Donation eight thousand one hundred thirty-three dollars. Uh, the dragon, aka Teresa, is to a good cause and towards the getting over fund. <laughs> oh God, thanks, thanks, dragon. Appreciate the donation. That's amazing. We're now at eight thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars raised for Covenant House. Did your Asian history course cover the Meiji Restoration? Uh, it was a long time ago, so a lot of it I've honestly forgotten. Uh, a lot of it focused around China, to be honest. Um, a little bit more so than I thought that it would. But um, there's a lot of it that I don't I don't remember the context of. There are certain things that I learned that really jumped out at me that, that made me laugh. Like, uh, they built the Great Wall of China to try to keep the Huns out. And this this monumental effort that still stands today, and they rode up to it, and then they just rode around the end of it and killed everyone anyway. <laughs> like just after all that work putting up the big wall. Hurry, <laughs> right, five five one, make the best steam ones. It's a very long flight from here to Japan, though. We really want to torture you. Apparently, you do actually. Thanks. Love Shogun, also one of my favorite games to play in the Total War series and all the info. Yeah, there is a lot in there. This is Icarus. It's a survival game. Um, I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking and, and not as much active playing. I'm sorry. Um, it's a survival game where basically uh, humans decided to terraform this planet. Uh, and they screwed it up because um, people are people. 
And so they made this planet that is uh, largely inhospitable for humans uh, without wearing special gear. But in the process, they, they found these exotic materials that turn out to be really valuable. They can use them for something um, that has a great value. And so we still come to the planet in order to, to complete missions for this faction that we kind of build our way up and we gather these rare materials to bring back to the space station with us. Kind of a fun survival game. Each mission is very repetitive, though, because you have to go back and rebuild from scratch each time. You're not going back to a pre-existing base, so it's a bit different that way, too. You all want to go side to another country on airplanes built by the lowest bidder? You all are crazy. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Satsuma Rebellion is one of my favorite historical events. Who from Canada to Australia can't get much further. Yeah, not so much, right? Went 20 years ago to visit friends in Saskatchewan, flew from Osaka to Tokyo to Vancouver to Regina, then drove four hours. Total time was almost 38 hours. That would suck. Oh, man, that is a long time to sit in a little metal box, whether it's an airplane or a car. Recommends... Well, the thing is, so we've talked about it briefly about... I don't know with any really seriousness of planning a trip to go to Japan, even though I would like to and so would my daughter. My wife is sort of indifferent. She'd like to see it, but she's like, I am not going on a 22 or a 24 hour flight. And even if we did do that, she's like, we need the we need like the, the seats that turn into beds so we can sleep. She's like, I'm not trying to sleep sitting up in a seat for like 24 hours straight. And we were like, well, there goes like $20,000. <laughs> so I was like, you know, uh, I guess uh, I guess we're not going anytime in the near future. <laughs> not far from Canada, Massachusetts. So one day I'll come check out the north. Oh, I've been to I go I used to go to Boston all the time for work. Now that oh, the forest is burning. Uh, now that we're uh, oh no oh no oh god wait a minute that means my house is probably on fire. Forgot about the lightning. Father-daughter vacation. <laughs> yeah, my, that's what my daughter keeps saying now. She's she's turning 14 this month. And uh, she's like, well, can't the two of us just go to Japan? I was like, you really honestly think your mother's going to be okay with us taking a, 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 a vacation to another country on the other side of the world and leaving her at home? <laughs> I was like, if you honestly think that, you are insane. Um, she's still pushing, but... Did someone say fire? Fire bears! Uh, I really hope my house isn't burnt down. That would suck. I mean, it would gut the inside of it. I guess the wood would still, or the stone would still be intact. The storm needs to be over so I can go check. I'm really sorry to hear that you went to Saskatchewan, though, uh, still snow. <laughs> Not to insult anybody who lives in Saskatchewan, but Saskatchewan is an extremely flat, boring place. There's, like, nothing happening there. It's all just flat. The big dig in Boston is a big fail. Well, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it's there. People use it. I gather it leaks all the time, though, right? And they constantly have to fix it. That's from the province where you can watch your dog run away for three days. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the Dakotas in Montana. Yeah, they're all kind of in that same flat plane where it's like it's, it's like God dropped a giant a giant anvil or a giant iron in the middle of the continent and just squished it flat. And then all around it is like mountains and like other terrain. <laughs> uh, I lived in Manitoba and it was even that was like extremely flat. Tell the wife, think of all the cleaning she can get done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's not going to result in my murder. Thanks, Mr. Bunny Lamekins. Saskatchewan as well. Flat, cold, and nothing. <laughs> we were in Saskatoon and went to a small uh, small town called Delisle outside of Saskatoon. Nice. That's awesome. But yes, it is very flat. And if it was in winter time, that would be really cold, too. Because with all that flatness, you get a lot of wind. And... Oh, funny. Is that berry bush growing in the rock? Right there on the side of the... It is. Oh. Oh, there's some persistent berry bushes right there. 
Also went polar bear watching in northern Manitoba. Oh, nice. That's cool. I'm gonna get rid of my pneumonia. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose my voice by tomorrow. Burning down the house. It might not have caught fire because it does have a stone roof. Um, uh, it's just that the side, the upper side walls are stone. Oh, or wood rather. It doesn't look like it burned. I think we're okay. The uh, the stone roof on top would have protected it from like straight down lightning, I guess. Spent 15 hours flying to Toronto years ago and spent 10 days in your hotel room due to 9 feet of snow on day 1 of being there. That is awful. If it was literally 9 feet of snow, was that like in the 70s by any chance? Because there was a really, really bad storm in the 70s. Minus 40 is not something I want to experience ever again. <laughs> the coldest Osaka is like 7 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Minus 40 is... Uh... Yeah, that's that's like a crippling cold. It's bad. It's you know it's 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 a bad temperature when it's uh it's the same temperature in Fahrenheit that it is in Celsius. That's how you know it's not good. Okay, let's um let's get this all swapped out to stone because I'm gonna I don't want to have to worry about this thing every time I walk away from it. Uh, so we do need more stone. I'm gonna need nails. Let's make like. I will we'll make like 200 nails, I guess. I probably don't need that many, actually. Hold on, let me... Let me stop that. Dead make, uh... We'll make like 100 nails. I do need more stone, though. <laughs> Little pieces of my house laying on the ground. But if it's all stone, it can't burn down. That's the idea, Ashley. God! Because you want it to burn down doesn't mean it's supposed to. Minus 40 is something you experience far too often, yeah. I, I lived in Manitoba, I, I'm familiar. I, I went to, uh, I had a year of university at uh, University of Winnipeg. Because uh, my dad lived out there, and we used to go out and visit him too when, uh, when we were younger. Like that, that whole thing of like having the, having the, the hair inside your nose freeze is just a bit too much, you know? <laughs> like, when you, when you blink and your eyelashes stick together because they freeze together when you blink, that's not right. Oh, by the way, try punching the buffalo. Oh, God! <laughs> didn't do that much damage. I was curious. So cold you can't even talk. Words come out frozen. You need to wait for them to thaw so you can hear what was said. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. That's a level 50 again. What was that? That's gotta be level 50 for the 25th time now, I think. Something like that, anyway. That's funny. Try punching the buffalo. And there's the buffalo in the, <laughs> in the game. It was like right there. Oh, Icarus, say drop on. Buffalo no charge attack if you annoy them. Oh, now I see the message. That's good. They should do something else rather than just run away. Who knew punching a buffalo was so fun? Here you thought it was all just about punching donkeys, but no. Buffalo punching. Try punching the bear. I haven't even seen a bear tonight. Congrats on what you raised so far. Yeah, everyone has been exceedingly generous. I I can't get over it. Um, the stream was actually supposed to end like 35 minutes ago, but they were like, oh, with all the money we raised, we should totally stream longer. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so, ah, ah, I'm, I'm clicked out of the game. Stop it. How would you... There we go. Oh, he gored me. I'm bleeding. Rotten boar. Tell you what, come with me. I got a table you need. I need, I need to introduce you to. Come see my lovely table. I'm gonna click back again. <laughs> got me just as I clicked out. La, La Mal, stream harder. Yeah. Mind you, a sock in the summer is harsh. 38 degrees Celsius with 500%. Oh my God! Remind me never to go there. 
never to go there in the summertime. That is oh Humidity is the thing I have the hardest time with. Like Hey, I mean hot is hard, but when uh when it's like insanely humid and you're like sweating standing still, that's gross. Oh, donation. There's a donation. Donation. Uh, anonymous donation. Thanks for everything, me, Star Fox. Thank you for the donation. Again, all to a very worthy cause. You're all fantastic, shiny, happy, wonderful people. I need to find. I need some of this. Gotta make. Gotta make bandages. Where are the bears? I don't know where the. We haven't seen a bear at all tonight. But you can stick yourself to a window and slide down. There's too much water in the air. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh man. I mean, I find I find the the humidity insane even just going to Florida to be honest. Relative to what I'm used to. Florida's pretty humid. But I don't think it's like 500% humid. This will make some gold too, I guess. All the bears are on strike. Maybe. They could be. Minus 57 Fahrenheit's round. Minus 49 Celsius. Happened here in Quebec a couple times since I was born. Yeah. Yeah, it used to... Well, with the wind chill, it would get really, really cold out, out west. Just because it's so flat. Like, the wind... There's nothing to, to block the wind. And so, it just carries right across the prairie in these insane winter winds. Not awesome. Not awesome at all. I need, uh... I need wood. All that humidity sucks for a big guy like me. You're from Georgia. Oh yeah, I bet. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I have no, I have very low tolerance for high humidity. I don't have any wood. I literally can't, <laughs> I can't sleep because I can't start a fire. I'm gonna put this in here. That's not gonna last long. We're gonna move quick. Gotta go quick. Get to my bed. Go, go, go. There we go. Never figured out Fahrenheit. It's kind of a weird measurement system, honestly. Well, weird for those of us who are not not typically using it all the time. Use coal. Oh, I could use coal. That's right. I was kind of saving the coal specifically for uh, for making steel bloom, but I do have quite a bit of it. I, I'm not going to need that much steel, so I probably could have used the coal. That would have made more sense. It's fine. We got what we needed. Good portion is under control of a possibly quite evil mouse. <laughs> they're gonna rename. Uh, they're gonna rename Florida to Disney. I heard. Don't really have humidity in the UK. Usually, summers last two or three weeks at most. Yeah, I. Uh, I couldn't. I don't want to do the UK thing either. I'm actually quite happy with where I am. I, I'm not a huge fan of winter. I like. So you know, the cold isn't awesome. Maybe if I was into like like certain winter sports and stuff, I'd be much more inclined to, to like it. But I'm really not. Um, but where I happen to live, there's like there's basically no natural disasters. The climate is very temperate. We've got lots and lots around us that's beautiful and scenic, and also direct easy access to. Uh, so I don't live in Toronto. I live uh, not too far away from it. So we got quick easy access to the city. We can get all down to Niagara easy enough. Just jump on the highway and go. Ah! Winters really aren't that harsh here. Summers really aren't that harsh here. Everything's kind of great. Uh, drop out. Thank you for the $20 donation. Did I miss something? Hold on. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have the page up because I, I don't have enough they can see. Great job so far. Great cause to support. Thank you for the donation. $8,173. Oh my god. After last week, I, I have to say, like, after last weekend's stream, you, like, all the donations were fantastic. We, we had, like, this quick surge at the start of the stream last week. I was feeling really good, and then the internet problems all started, and then by the end, I was, I felt so dejected. I was like, I, I feel like we're not, we're not gonna be able to get... We're not gonna be able to get a 5,000 as the goal that I had set because like everything's just like getting flushed down the toilet. And then uh, you guys came out in a big way this weekend. That's I'm so uh, I'm so thrilled. It's amazing. 
Lots of earthquakes here. Had one five days ago. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. I do want to visit. I don't know if I could live there. But that would, uh, the, the earthquakes would... Earthquakes would be a problem for me. Earthquakes, monsoons, tornadoes, hurricanes, all those things that we don't have here where I live that just cause people constant challenges. Not so much. Oh, that's what I'm missing in nails. Made them and I forgot to actually pick them up. Okay, so I need, um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to need eight of the triangular pieces and two, four walls. The show Grimm gets, uh, gets a lot right about Portland, especially the very green forests. I haven't seen Grimm. There are sometimes tornadoes. There are, but they're very weak. Like, they're not, and they're, they're not, um, I mean, obviously if it hits your house, that's a problem, but they're not really like a, a chronic thing. Like Tornado Alley in the United States, for example, where they just get obliterated by these massive tornadoes. You just don't really see that in Ontario. When I was a teenager, I was living in the Niagara region, and when the, the movie Twister was out, it was playing in the drive-in theater, and a twister came through and obliterated the screen. <laughs> now that's special effects. But that was also really, really unusual. I love Icarus, but it scares me. Is it the bears? Or is the darkness? Or is the darkness in the bears? Because it all scares me too. You're not alone. I'm going to start a self-help group. 40 movies with actual tornadoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the Starlight in Hamilton that happened too. <laughs> was it? <laughs> I don't remember where it was. I just remember getting obliterated. Too funny. You live in Tornado Alley. It's kind of rare for them to come through Garland, Texas. Uh, a couple years ago, one came through a mile from your house. Wow. Or like the people who live in Florida that are constantly dealing every year with hurricanes. I, I can't, I can't fathom that either. I'm just, it's, it's not my lived experience. So it's not something I grasp easily. Can't reach that one. Fires, bears, sandworms, etc. Yeah. <laughs> You should have been around when we were playing Grounded earlier. You could have uh, you could have added spiders to the list. Stupid wolf spider. You gonna watch that clip to end the stream? Um, yeah, I probably will. It's um, I think it will play. Let's see. Oh God, so so crazy. I hate spiders too. I can't handle them at all. <laughs> okay. I, I deal with them in my house because I have to, and because I'm way bigger than they are, but they, they kind of creep me out. I don't know how people have, like, tarantulas as pets and stuff. Just, no. No. Absolutely not. Uh, I need some regular meat so I can have a regular meat buff. There we go. Finally triple buffed. There we go. Oh geez, eight thousand two hundred thirty-two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, huge, huge raise. Oh, another one. Can't wait for that Bennett Foddy stream. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't. I'm not doing it if we don't clear ten thousand. That's all I'm saying. And there's only like fifteen minutes left, so you're out of luck, I think. <laughs> Bennett Foddy. <laughs> the worst part about Steam is no matter how many times I install the game, it's still there. I could just hit the button and it comes back. Ran across the tarantula in the wild. It was cool to see it just walking across the grass. How would that be cool? That would melt my brain. That would... No. Yeah. I, I did agree to do it for 10,000. But that was when we were at like 5,000. <laughs> we were getting painfully close to it now. And I, it's creeping me out. <laughs> uh... I've lost track. I'm so I'm so out of it right now. <laughs> I feel a little punch drunk. What was I doing? I know I got iron for a reason. I, I think I needed to make steel bloom, right? Is that what it was? I gotta make some steel bloom. 
There we go. Get that started. I know we needed steel for something. Give me reptiles any day over spiders. I agree. Reptiles at least can be cute. Spiders? Nope. There's no cute. No cute spiders. They don't exist. Anyone who anyone who says otherwise is clearly lying. Okay. Uh, I could make a platinum sickle, but I don't really need a platinum sickle so much. Jazzy Sands with a super chat. Great stream, buddy. Thank you for the generous super chat. That's amazing. Oh my god, you people. Crazy super chats and stuff today, too. Very exceedingly generous. All around. Super chats to the channel. Uh, all the donations you guys have made to the uh, to the Covenant House charity stream. That's... Wow. What a day. It's been, it's been a long day, but a fun day. You don't like spiders. Never go to the Arab region. My brother shot camel spiders with his M4 when he was deployed. You haven't seen them. You should check them out. Oh god, do I really want to see this? Hold on. Camel spiders, you say? Oh my god! Look at the size of them! <laughs> so gross. I'm sorry, but any spider that, that you can shoot with a machine gun is not something you should be hanging around with. Still snow with a huge super chat towards your future trip to Japan. <laughs> thank you, Sue. Thank you, Still Snow. You're. Oh my gosh. The support that you've provided over the, the year, literal years that you've had a membership to my channel is mind boggling. Thank you, Still Snow. That's exceedingly generous. My goodness. Still going. Yeah, we haven't we haven't quit yet, Ricky. Sorry. I'm uh a little punch drunk, but we're still here. <laughs> Go see if someone donated two thousand uh, dollars. You're at ten k, and it's uh, forcibly metaphotic. Nope. I can see the bar, the progress bar at the top. We're good. I'm good. I think we dodged a bullet. <laughs> that game, it hurts my soul. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I was doing things, and I don't remember what they were again. Oh yeah, aluminum. So I'm gonna make a better bow, so we'll we'll drop this in here. Uh, I need rope. I need steel screws and steel ingots. So we need need this. Slap that in here. Get ourselves some steel. I'm gonna take the aluminum out for now. Get the steel going. I think it was eight rope, right? Old school getting over it by Bennett Foddy, a game that cryptic by it's the worst. If you've never seen it or played it, don't. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's like a what is it? Like a five dollar game? Let me tell you something. It's not worth it. <laughs> Congrats on the fundraiser today slash night. Thanks, Ricky. Yeah, it's gone exceedingly well. I'm very pleased. Um Like I said, it really warms my heart. I've I've thought an awful lot lately. Uh about poverty and stuff in general. And I I don't know why, I've just I've been obsessed with it lately, like consuming all kinds of content on YouTube, and doing a lot of reading and stuff about it. I think in part because I feel like it's a problem that should be solvable, that just hasn't been solved. Not that I know what that solution would be. Anyway, I've been kind of obsessed, and uh... So, just as well that this kind of a, a cause came along, because it fits right in with that, obviously. Okay. Uh, there we go. Fancy bow. Hooray! We're still making progress, even though I'm probably not being the most efficient player right now. <laughs> We're still getting ahead. We're making things happen. We gotta get... Oh, I should actually get some more... Some more iron to make, um, flint arrows, actually. Now that I think of it. You had a pet camel spider. Much smaller. They're actually spiders, so no venom. Painful bite, though. Oh, god. I don't... No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like spiders. I couldn't do it. That's, wow. Ugh, gross. No. Animal spiders are terrible things. I did not enjoy seeing them when I was deployed there. Oh, God, no. 
Don't know if I could, but I've always been on the lower side of money all my life. Uh, hopefully it will change when I graduate with my CS degree in a month. Well, good luck with getting the CS degree. I can relate to the money side of things. I, uh, so as, as when we were kids, my mom was a, was a single, a single parent. My dad did not do anything to help support. They, they split up when I was really young and he lived in Manitoba and we lived in Ontario and he was not helpful. So my mom really scrimped and, and scrounged to make ends meet all the time. And she, she did without a lot of time so that my brother and I would have, and it was the kind of thing where she would get paid every two weeks. And we knew that not to ask for any, ask for anything because on payday every two weeks, when she got paid, we'd get a little matchbox car. And that was like our treat as a kid. Um, and w we never lived in like abject poverty. We, w we weren't homeless. Um, but I'm sure she must have had to get, get assistance at times raising us. And so she really went out of her way. And, and I had, I, I believe I had a good, a good childhood. I had a good life. We were never wealthy. But we also never had to deal with the kinds of things that some of these families have to deal with. Like, just the, the sheer lever, the sheer level of poverty that's out there is really mind-boggling. Like, kids, live, kids and families living on streets. And it's not getting any better lately because, you know, as housing prices increase, as inflation increases, finding yourself at the bottom of that barrel and trying to climb out of it becomes that much more difficult. So organizations like Covenant House that can that can help the youth that are finding themselves in that spot are just so important to help make sure that those people aren't stuck in a situation that they just can't escape from. And so I'm exceedingly grateful for those types of organizations and for the support that all of you have shown in this stream and last weekend in making donations for it as well. So it's uh it's fantastic. I it's amazing. Youngest of six kids on my birth certificate, my dad's occupation, paper root. Yep. My gosh. And say, oh, another donation. Sorry. Uh, where are we? We're at nine thousand and ten dollars. Oh my god, killing me. Cosmo, sweaty. <laughs> Seven sixty-seven fifty. The donation, no less. Cosmo, how much have you given today? That's insane. You got to be pushing two thousand dollars in donations yourself, I think, Cosmo. That's crazy. Wow, thank you so much. Insanely generous. And yes, I am sweating now. <laughs> it's over 9000 yep. $9,000. Oh my god. Would we be close enough for getting over at stream? Uh, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Jody, was it like 1755? Yeah. 15, oh. What was it Fox said that would happen at 10? I said I would play, I would, I would play getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Not tonight, because my brain can't take it. But I would, I would do a stream of getting over it with Bennett Foddy again if we got over 10,000. I don't know why people want to see that game. I think it's just the, the agony that it puts me through was entertaining somehow. Because <laughs> it's not a good game. Okay, I need to find uh, more iron. So there is a... Where are we here? There's another cave that's like up here. There's also a cave that's like way down here. I wonder what would be closer. It looks like it's... Probably pretty similar. Uh, there's also a cave that's over here, which is probably the closest to the bunch, though it's only a tier one. So maybe we'll go check that one out. But I left my I left my furnaces over at the other place, so I'm gonna go grab those. Uh, I gotta drop off resources here, though. Boop boop boop. Boop de boop. Uh, maybe I'll bring some coal we can use in there. No, you know what? We'll just get wood. Fine. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, I can't I can't even walk in a straight line anymore. <laughs> oh lord. Don't specify the length of getting over at stream. Oh yeah, fair enough. Ah, 30 seconds, done. Boom. I've been homeless twice in my life, and it was hard enough living on the streets as an adult with military training, so I can only imagine how scary it would be as a child. Yeah, I I don't know how people do it. it it's so It's uh, you know it. Uh, I don't know. It hurts my soul. I don't know how people get out of that situation, no less. Once you find yourself in it, it's got it because society in general just walks past. You know, like it's crazy. You become like the invisible almost. I don't know how people get out of that. 
Uh, Stella, donated $10. Nice to be able to help. Thanks for doing this for them, Cryptic. Uh, I know how to have a harder life. Not as bad as those young people, but I feel them. Yeah, absolutely, Stella. Thank you so much for the, the generous donation. It's all, all definitely going to go to a very worthy cause. So fantastic. Yeah, are we you know, pull out the phone or whatever? Like, it's... it's, it's wow. Yeah, like I said, it's been something that's really been on my mind a lot lately. So I guess, especially because, and it doesn't make any sense that, like, one event should make it happen, but with all, everything that's been going on with COVID and stuff, and so many people that have lost homes and lost jobs and, um, you know, just lost so much, it's blows my mind. And so I've had a lot of, I guess I've been thinking about that too, because it just seems to have, like, compounded the problem that already existed. Okay, these... Oh, I still had materials in here. Oh my god. Alright. That up. Oh, oh, there we go. I could not watch Fox play it. It was that bad. <laughs> like, getting over it? Yeah, that game is awful. Excruciating. Absolutely excruciating. Oh, 9060. Oh my god, it's still going up. $9,060. Uh, Maria Z with the, the donation. Thank you for all the support you're bringing to this organization, and thank you for all the entertainment you provide. And well, thank you for the generous donation there. Uh, yep, Stella, thanks for doing this. Can't wait for that Benefati. Oh my god, Benefati. Please no. <laughs> god, please no. I said I would never install it again. <laughs> You're gonna make me break my word. Um, it's dark, and I don't have the resources to build another torch. I need, uh, I need to make a torch. The regular one will do. Sticks and fiber. Sticks and fiber. Give me some fiber, quick. Should be enough fiber. Uh, I need sticks. I need. Oh god, I need sticks. Don't hit me with lightning. Oh, that tree's burnt. Uh, <laughs> that won't give me wood. How long is the link valid for? Uh, I don't know to be honest. It might stay valid after April second, but I know that their particular, the particular fundraiser drive was through April second, so I I didn't ask how long that would last for afterward. I see you play the new jump game. Can't remember the name, but better than getting over it. Blah. <laughs> um, it, is that what? It, that's like a like some sort of like a jump rhythm game or something, right? Why can't I barely move? What have I got on me? Oh, it's all the wood. This out of here. Okay, I gotta go back to my house because I got all this stuff on me. Go the right way. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get blasted by a lightning bolt. Me with my metal bow here. No idea what the game even is. I think you should play it. So, oh, you're not missing much. I'm telling you, it's it's awful. The, the general premise of the game is that you're ow. You're this man torso thing inside of a metal kettle, like a big pot cauldron. I guess it is metal cauldron. Uh, and you have a sledgehammer, and that sledgehammer is your only means of moving. So you have to like use it to like push off the ground and grab on the ledges and swing it around. There's no button clicking or anything in the game. It's all mouse movement. And you swing the mouse in circles as you try to swing this hammer around. And climb up this mountain of... Like generic... Video game... Assets that they've built into this huge mountain. And you have to like climb up until you get to high enough where you just fly off into space at the top. It's really a ridiculous game, but it's extremely punishing. If you screw up, you could be near the top. If you could screw up, it could put you all the way back down to the bottom again, and you have to do the entire thing over. It's uh, it's really punishing, and it's really insanely frustrating. 
The only reason for it is to make streamers slash YouTubers rage. Yeah, that is pretty much about it, yeah. Supposedly, he made it with this really high-minded kind of thing where he's, like, teaching people about frustration. <laughs> just, no. He's just a jerk. That's what it is. He, he doesn't want to say it, but that's that's what the reality is. He's just torturing people. And the worst part is we pay him for the privilege because you have to buy the game. <laughs> oh. Oh wait, I need uh, I need a little bit of gold that's unrefined. I can never remember how much it is, but we'll put some of it in there. Um, all this can go in here. That can get all refined. I guess we'll put more wood in here. Then this can go here. We're ready with our smelters to go out and find... <sighs> find some more iron in that cave I marked. Where is it? Down there. You're saved! It's 1 a.m. No getting over it. Hooray! Oh, wait. Oh, God. No, wait. What? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on. In case, in case these are anonymous, I don't want to... Okay, <laughs> Amanda with a super chat because I feel like I need to be the one you hate. <laughs> uh, Steven with a big super chat. Ashley made me. Uh, we just hit ten thousand dollars like right as we rolled into one o'clock. I'm ecstatic at how much money you guys raised for. Covenant House. I, I absolutely, I cannot believe it. It, I'm stunned. Thank you all very, very, very much for that wonderful support. It's gonna go helping so many people. It, and in such a direct way. It's it's so fantastic. I I, I can't say enough. And at the same time, I really regret saying I would play that game. <laughs> But we'll play it. I'll do it because I said I would. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, to the, for the donations. Ten thousand dollars—that is insane. Um, hold on, let me go inside the house here, so I want to come back in the game. I don't want to be standing out on the porch. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna turn my cam back on. Uh ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> there were some insane donations made today. To help support a fantastic cause. I can't uh, I can't thank all of you enough. This has been amazing. Uh, 13 hours we were live today to get to $10,000. And now I've got to play Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. A game that I went and installed it, I swore I would never play again. <sighs> well, Rado, why don't we play I Am Toast? I don't know if you haven't seen that game, that's another one that's a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> don't forget the grounded clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. we got to find that. Um, let me find... I'm gonna pull up Discord. It's gonna give me a just give me a quick moment here. Glorious moment when you screw yourself over, eh? <laughs> oh Lord. Um Where is it? Is it our game banter, did you say? There. I think that's it. Fox predict spiders. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta pull it up. Uh cube. Okay, pause. All right, one second. Game. Put the cam back on. Okay, so here it is. If for anyone who wasn't here earlier, oh, the quality's gonna suck. Oh God, as soon as we find spiders attacking, that's gonna be so bad. Oh, there it goes, it fixed. Much better. It was super blurry at the start. I was like, oh, that's gonna be like unwatchable. Now you have a cam, go find a spider. Oh God, no. Well, the spiders will come along soon enough, man. You'll see me like trying to like dodge around the spider while I'm playing. <laughs> I'm God, one of those no. people. Hold on, <laughs> like I got, dodging I got is those gonna make a difference. On. Hold on, hold on, pause. My my camera is covering over the camera. Uh, hold on, cam. There we go. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll go in this corner. There we go. I can watch myself over in that corner. <laughs> 
Okay, let's um pick these up. We can finish the workbench. Oh god! <laughs> no! That face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, what a game. <laughs> oh, God. As soon as we find spiders, that's a good clip. Oh, my God. Embarrassing, but good. That's funny. <laughs> Turn that off. Wow, insane. Uh, okay, it's been a really, really long day. We've been, uh, after 13 hours of live streaming, I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. Uh, $10,000 raised for Covenant House. I, I can't, I can't believe we got there. That's, that's crazy. I set a goal of 5,000 and you guys doubled it. That's, that's crazy. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for taking that great clip as well. <laughs> that, that, that clip was, like just perfectly timed too no less like come on like I, as soon as i called it it was right after i turned on the camera that was like within 30 seconds of turning on the camera so funny next one million dollars yeah one million dollars excellent uh anyway thank you to everyone who came to hang out today uh there were many generous super chats today as well i really appreciate all of those I, um, some new members that joined the channel uh, i got to distribute some game keys i think i screwed some up so if someone didn't get the key they were supposed to get, please let me know, because I I'm pretty sure I made a mistake, um, and I might have to send another one out. Uh, but thank you to everyone who made a donation. Uh, this is this is a huge win for Covenant House. Uh, I think we're uh, this puts us. At, I mean, we're we're definitely the the top group for for gathering donations, aside from one other group that I think. Got like 12,000, but I don't know how many people they had participating. Team Warframe had, I think, like 10 different people. Um, so just a, just a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I, I appreciate all of you so much. It's been a long day. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Night with another super chat. Thank you for an awesome day. Well, thank you for all the generous, generous donations and super chats. It's just mind-boggling i'm really looking forward to going into and taking a tour of their facility uh which i think is going to be like i said sometime in may um so that'll be that'll be fantastic uh there will be a stream tomorrow night i have a feeling it's going to be benefati i was gonna play <laughs> i was gonna play elden ring um but i think we might end up playing benefati tomorrow night um so we'll see how that goes that should be that should be a blast <laughs> anyway thank you all so so very much i really appreciate it uh i'm as always cryptic fox I'll see all of you next time.